very exciting moment at Jack Lucy. I've decided I'm going to make homemade tomato and red pepper soup with a bit of uh, spice on it, folks. So, a carrot, a leek, and an onion. A carrot, a leek, and an onion. Two packets of two packets of tomatoes. Or I'm going to get two tins of tomatoes. No, no, I might go with tomatoes, man. Right. I'll get good and tomatoes. Then beans, but I don't know. Or oh, cannellini beans, right? Cannellini beans. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six things. And what, what about what about the vegetable uh, thing in the juice? The uh, stock cubes. I think that's chicken stock cubes. The chicken stock cubes, is it? Folks, so just to finish the day, uh, Tesco here, get some stuff for the tomato soup. Rosie said, you go and get the stuff. I'm going to go for a wonder. So I've been here for about an hour. Yeah, that's the thing I need now. Is that a manual? Oh, cannellini, it's cannellini beans. beans. Never had cannellini beans. But the palm oil I get them in. Um, the sounds like Italian, isn't it? It's like the pasta. Mm -hmm. Pistachio has been well, £1.90 there, but without the shells, look, £2.30. See, I told you. you know, what we do for the. I thought you were talking about a bag of battery car. What bag? I was, I did. Oh, how does it fit in the air? Oh. Right, yo, everybody. Yo, welcome to Kitchen Life, where today, folks. You just sat my leak. Uh, we're making homemade. I've got a bent leak. <laughs> Uh, we're making tomato soup. So, what we need for this, folks? Two packets of just normal cheap tomatoes, uh, a leek, up or down, whatever. We have some vegetable stock cubes. We have a, well, custard, isn't it? We've got a carrot, a carrot, a red pepper. Now, this is optional because uh, that recipe was just for tomato, but I like a bit of red pepper. So, what I'll do is I'll grill that and just do the usual. And we have an onion. And some of these things, I've never had these before, cannellini beans, folks, cannellini. I take it you just sieve them, sort of thing. So, and all you do then is basically just chop up your vegetables and uh, put it through the old the old blender here. And then you boil it and let it simmer for, I don't know, a day or two. Right, it's a bit early for beer, it's only quarter past three, so it's a little bit early. Well, I'm tempted, I always like having a beer when I'm cooking, I might, I might just go for it, folks, whatever. A, a, a cheeky little snifter before you go. Yeah, okay, we're going to have that. Uh, this is my ale from Andy. Thank you, Andy. Love Lane Birkenhead. So we're going to try that, folks. Let's see what this is like. With my guitar. A bottle opener. Excellent. We're not bothered with a glass. We're just going to make it straight from the bottle today. Excellent, especially this time of day. Right, let's get the soup on. Always be careful when handling these sort of things, folks. All right. Oh, Tell me, I've done, I've, I've done it wrong, folks. I put the stuff in the blender when I should have done. Should have done the pan. Then go in the pot. And the pot. Cook. All right. Okay. Sorry. Right. Okay. I thought I, I, thought I asked you if the, everything cooked. You said no. You just put it in the blender. I didn't say that. I said, why would I say that? Because that's not the way I just want it. Okay, so what do I have to buy? Everything Boil up the kettle, make up your stock. Right, okay. Well, you never told me that. Well, I'm shooting. So there's the soup on the, uh, on the boil. Everything's in there. Excellent. Yeah, that looks good, man. I'm making soup. I've done the soup. I've made it. I've chopped up everything. Red pepper. A little bit of red pepper. That's my secret ingredient. And I might just put a pinch of uh, something special in there as well, my secret ingredient. Um, so my sous chef is uh, doing the uh, stirring right now, just making sure that I'm doing it all right, because Roger you know, makes a superb lentil soup. But this is something new for us now, we're having tomato. You think it should be okay, does that be all right? Okay. A little bit more water in from the expert, take expert advice. Always take out expert advice, folks. That's my tip for you when you are doing these sort of things and somebody offers you some advice, especially when an expert like Rosie, then obviously take the advice and just use it. Okay. Folks, this is the soup coming to the boil. Oh, crikey. Oh. Folks, here's the, uh, the soup. It's looking good. I think that's it ready. I think all the carrots and the onion have been cooked. The leek. So now I've got to put it in the blender. It looks a bit warty, I think, isn't it? That should be right. Let's see. Right, folks, here is my tomato soup. I'm just about to blend it. Here we go. Let's give it a blast. Oh, I'm scared, man. Here we go. This is it. Here we go. I thought it should turn red. Right, I think that's it. I think that's it. Let's have a look. 
Let's have a. Oh. Wow. This is it, man. This is it. This is the, the taste of the soup. My homemade tomato soup, folks. Here we go. Let's taste it. I don't know really. Oh, this is your rosy thing. It's, it's all right, but it's like a oh, it's just like a flavoured liquid. <laughs> anyway, let's we'll see what happens. Oh, Hang on. There's my soup. Look at that. Looks great. A bit more pepper. I like pepper in the soup. Nice here we go, folks. It's the the taste of the soup. I thought it'd be a bit redder, but a bit more red. But hey, here we go. Oh. That's actually good. Mmm. It's nice with the red pepper through it. Mmm. Yeah. Very good, Jag. Awesome tomato soup, folks. Excellent. I'm at the end of the video. Thanks very much for watching, folks. Subscribe, like, do all that sort of stuff. Big shout out to Lainey and Andrew, away over in Australia, Adelaide, Willabonga. Thanks, guys, for watching. You must be my furthest away subscriber, so awesome. Nice meeting you, Lainey, as well. See you soon, guys. Peace out.